by Neptune's beard. That was a rough battle. Come now, Drake. You're not losing your confidence, are you? We need to keep moving or we'll be beaten again. Mm. Quit your jabbering and look around, Eagle. Only fools sail into uncharted waters blindfolded. Hmm? What are you talking about? That orange star CEO named Andy did not attack Green Earth. But we saw! We saw what we were meant to see. And this goes beyond just the battles in Green Earth. The entire conflict has been orchestrated from the very beginning. But how is that? Quite now, if I'm right, it is up to us to turn the tides of our mystery foe. And the best way to test my theory is to battle Orange Star again. Really? You're saying that wasn't Andy, but who? Naval Clash. We got Max, and Sammy, and Andy once again. Andy faces waves of Drake's forces to defend a strategic asset. Max battles against the clock to win a big, uh, to win big before Drake gets bailed out. And Sammy, Sammy's soldiers must storm the beaches and stop Drake's naval forces. And of course, we gotta go with Sammy again because I'm hoping that that's the case. I think we gotta do this in the next one. And that hopefully will unlock the secret mission. If not, then I know I messed up somewhere. Sammy, do you read me? Okay. Roger now, what is it? Uh... It's about some of the units you're using. We need you to protect your landers. Orange Star is experiencing a shortage of those units. If you lose them, you'll lose this battle. The landers? We have two of them. Do you mean we have to protect both of them? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't allow either one to be destroyed. Understood. I'll do my part. You can count on me. Yes. I always can. Thanks, Sammy. All right. So there's the HQ. This definitely is a, a storming the beach level. Landers, I'm gonna hide them inside the reefs. Alright, so far it doesn't look like there's any naval units. But I, I bet you anything, there probably is going to be one hiding somewhere. Most likely subs. <laughs> well, let's see here. All I got to do to win is send those landers straight to the bottom of the sea. That'll keep them from coming ashore. Up and out of mateys. Yep, knew it, subs. Battleship over there. But thankfully, it does not see my units. But I do need to start hiding these guys, because... Yeah, he's definitely going to be able to see what's on land. Looks like he's only got medium tanks ashore, so I think a good beachhead would be right here, and hopefully that I can use that to capture this city and hopefully draw his attention away from like the main landing zone. This battleship should not be able to see me, and then I can hopefully ambush it with the sub next turn.
Oops, I forgot to blow the other unit in. No, I can't. I can move you right there. Unfortunately, the sense of subs underwater, I can't do anything about it. Barely, but they did. All right, just because the sub is honestly the bigger threat. can't target the city, thankfully, so he'll have to reposition, and in doing so, basically wander right into a little ambush I got set up. Well, it's a good thing he doesn't have his Typhoon ability. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me it's not- it's our- t oh, we just lost the lander. And all the ground units that was carrying it. next time oh we have to keep both of them alive I thought we had to keep at least one alive well then that uh. all right well now that I know that let's plan accordingly here so we know that there is a sub coming that way as well as a battleship. So we'll hide you right there. Move you right there. And we'll get you moving over there. Let's get you and you loaded. And we're going to send you all the way over here. And basically over here is going to be our beachhead. Go in there? Definitely a kill zone. Because I'm guessing they got the artillery stationed right here and right here. That's how both of them were able to hit. Unless they also got one like right here because that could have been a target. Or right here. There's a lot of places that Drake's probably hitting his artillery. So I need to play smart.
Oh, found the battleship. Up, reach it. No, it can't. Ah, you fool. I should have just attacked it with a sub and then just handle whatever was coming my way. Really? All right. Kind of surprised you decided to move and not just artillery strike the rockets, but all right. Hardly a scratch. Eh, why not? Eh, got a little close there. I swear. I guess we'll fire with this thing. All right, that takes care of that. I guess we'll start taking out his landers while we're at it. Hello. All right, we'll set up a little ambush point right there. Okay, let's see. It's only a set number of troops, so we don't have to worry about him getting any reinforcements. I think we took out its entire navy, so we don't have to worry about that as well. So we already got ourselves a beachhead. So we'll take the city, we'll probably take the city up there as well, just a, as a backup, like, a uh, heal spot. And then we'll push through the force behind the HQ and then capture from behind, hopefully. Panic is for land lovers.
seems pretty safe over here, thankfully. Uh, the battleships stay over here to provide covering fire. We'll take out his lander up here. And it was loaded, so who knows what was inside there. Probably just infantry. Oh, he's got rocket titan somewhere. Oh, and he's got mediums as well. Gross. He's got another battleship out there. It's a good thing that I moved you over here. Maybe the trick to this was to send a smaller strike team to the left to, to draw his units out and then have the, the right side be the attacking. I just figured that left side because there's a lot of force over here that we could have hide it or could have hidden. Where the hell those rockets are hiding? Let's get you... Find in the force over here. We'll return fire to you.
Damn, if only it moved over a little bit, then I could hit it with the rockets. Those rockets hiding. I'm trying to think, what would be like a, the best location for those rockets to be able to keep attacking? Oh, there goes my sub, damn. I'm guessing those two trees that are, like, right next to the road, that would be where the rockets are hiding. Artillery's hiding in that, that forest that's, like, right next to the bridge. position. I need to take out those rockets before I can make a run for the HQ. But from the looks of things, the bulk of their ground forces have been taken care of. Oh, no. Oh, no. They have to be right next to the, to your, to the artillery. That's the only explanation as to where that thing is hiding. Takes care of them, and that side of the river is now pretty much safe. I'm not gonna risk it just in case one decides to something out of the blue decides to pop right there and expose my infantry. There you are. Battleships hit? No, it can't. We need to move over 
both of one space and then we got him. And yeah, he's got that HQ covered. I think like out of all the rocket units, the green earth is definitely like my favorite design wise. Just because of how unique they are. I mean, yeah, Orange Stars' rockets are cool and all because they, they're they like the more modern looking ones. But at the same time, I, I just like the rocket pods like strapped to these armored cars for Green Earth. Prepare to be washed away. You may try to wash me away, Drake, but you know what? You will never be able to wash away this capture. Hold out, please hold out, please hold out. Ooh, I like that background. Okay, we got this. So long as nothing else attacks them. Like that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab the remaining uh, soldiers. I'm gonna let them heal up a little bit. Okay, artillery hit them, which means they're probably hiding right there. I don't have enough for seal power just yet. How much fuel do you have? You got plenty of fuel and you got plenty of ammo. So I might try to sneak you right there just to get a little bit of extra firepower. This might have been a mistake. There's a rocket. If I can get you up into the forest, and I can at least shell you from afar. Sacrifice the rockets if it means I can uh, take out this tank. Make up your mind. Alright, I need to finish this fast. My planters are almost out of fuel. Okay, that takes care of them. Huh. 
Alright. So long as nothing surprises me. I don't see any tanks, I don't see any troops. I think this is it. But I'm not taking any chances with this artillery. There we go. I forgot to load the troops in. I can already feel myself screaming internally. To save all your eardrums, I will not scream externally, but just know that I am screaming at the top of my lungs internally. Guys, just capture this HQ so we can end this battle already. Been crushed. At this rate, I may as well join the Flotsam and Jetsam. Ah, there's no time for self-pity. Let's hoist sails and ride the wind. He's such an optimistic boy. I won. What a relief. Yeah, tell me about it, Sammy. A rank, alright. Surprisingly, technique did not hit us as hard as I thought it would, and it was just speed.